We begin our coverage of the Canadian War Plane Heritage Museum, where hundreds of people gathered to honour those who lost their lives in the name of peace. Adam Atkinson has a story. As the last post is played, the veterans in attendance remember the men and women they served with. George Stewart is 98 years old now, but he enlisted when he was only 18. I was in love with airplanes, and as I was shoveling the, I, the snow around our block, I looked at these big bombers, the Antons going over from Mount Hope, and I say, you lucky devils, getting all that free flying, and I've never even had an airplane ride. He went overseas in 1943 and became a night intruder pilot, flying mosquito bombers like these. Our bomber stream, hundreds of airplanes at Lancaster and Halifax, would say go to Berlin. Then all the way along the route, there were German airfields. So we would go to a German airfield or one or two and circle them at 500 to 1500 feet for an hour, waiting for their guys to come home and get ready to shoot them down. Also in attendance at the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum's Remembrance Day ceremony was 102-year-old Jack Finan, who says he flew just about everything in the Second World War. Playing tag with the enemy fire planes and uh, shooting them down instead of them shooting me down. Finan jokes he only had one thing on his mind during those dogfights. How open the public house would be when I get back for a drink. <laughs> One of the veterans I spoke with said, of course, he felt fear when he was about to head out on a dangerous bombing mission over Germany. But he said he had to think about it like he was jumping in a cold ocean. There is such a thing as fear. And uh, I wonder how the heck they handle it. So I went up to my commanding officer's navigator and said, Jock Reed, is Jock, would you mind telling me something? I said, how do you get yourself up to do this stuff? Nothing to it, old boy, just like swimming. So what do you mean, just like swimming? Well, you go to the seashore and the water's cold. What do you, I said, well, you jump right in. Exactly, my boy, just like swimming. You just do it. And it worked. And I flew, I flew 50 trips over Germany and occupied Europe. I flew four from England to Africa. Corporal Carmen Pohl is a member of the Hamilton Argyles and has also served Canada overseas. She didn't grow up in a military family, but says Remembrance Day means a lot to her. It means a lot to me to know that there was uh, so many uh, men and women in the forces back then who, you know, stepped up and, and fought for their country in such a, you know, horrible time. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News, Hamilton.